Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to solve a nice math Olympiad exponential equation. That is, e to the power 1 over x is equals to 1. And here, we are going to find the value for x. At first step, we are going to take log on both sides to find out the value for x. Log e to the power 1 over x is equals to log 1. Guys, we know that log a to the power b is equals to b log a then this will become 1 over x times log e and in the right hand side log 1 will remain same now bring log e to this side then it will become 1 over x is equals to log 1 over log e now take reciprocal of each other both hand sides then it will become x is equals to log e over log 1 and guys we know log e is equals to 1 and log 1 is equals to 0 here guys we get undefined solution for x so in this process we cannot solve for x now we must think alternative way to solve this problem guys if you make this one something in terms of e or some other value other than one we can solve for x here we are going to use euler's formula from euler's formula we have e to the power theta i is equals to cos theta plus i sin theta now put theta is equals to 0 then the above equation will become e to the power 0 times i is equals to cos 0 sorry here cos 0 plus i sin 0 then e to the power 0 times i is equals to e to the power 0 is equals to cos 0 means 1 plus i sin 0 means i times 0 sin 0 equals to 0 and here e to the power 0 equals to 1 and here if we simplify this we will get 1 is equals to 1 so it means this Euler's formula is satisfied to our equation that is 1 now we are going to substitute the value for theta is equals to 2 k pi earlier we put theta is equals to 0 now we are going to put theta is equals to 2 k pi where k is an integer number so k is equals to 1 2 3 and so on if we put theta is equals to 2 k pi to our this formula that is equation number 1 then it will become e to the power 2 k pi times i is equals to cos theta is equals to 2 k pi plus i sin 2 k pi now we are going to put k is equals to 1 2 3 and so on now put k is equals to 1 then the above equation will become e to the power 2 pi times i is equals to cos 2 pi plus i sin 2 pi and guys cos 2 pi is equals to 1 plus sin 2 pi is equals to 0 if you multiply i times 0 therefore we get e to the power 2 pi times i is equals to 1 now put k is equals to 2 to this equation then it will become e to the power 2 pi times 2i is equals to cos 2 times 2 times pi plus i sin 2 times 2 times pi here if you simplify this we will get e to the power 4 pi times i is equals to cos 4 pi plus i sin 4 pi here cos 4 pi is equals to 1 plus 
i times sin 4 pi is equals to 0 we get e to the power 4 pi times i is equals to 1 now put k is equals to 3 k equals to 3 then the above equation will become e to the power 2 pi times 3 times i is equals to cos 2 times 3 times pi plus i sine 2 times 3 times pi if you simplify this we will get e to the power 6 pi times i is equals to cos 6 pi plus i sine 6 pi and guys cos 6 pi is equals to 1 plus i times sine 6 pi is equals to 0 and we get 1 from e to the power 6 pi times i guys as we can see that if you solve for k equals to 1 we get this e to the power 2 pi i is equals to 1 and if you solve k is equals to 2 we get this value 2 equals to 1 and if you solve and here we solve k equals to 3 we get this e to the power 6 pi times i equals to 1 so it means this e to the power how much e to the power 2k pi i is equals to how much 1 now we are going to write here e to the power 2k pi times i is equals to 1 for k value 1 2 3 4 we get e to the power something is equals to 1 now we have our question e to the power 1 over x is equals to 1 now we can easily substitute the value for 1 is equals to how much e to the power 2k pi i now substitute this one is equals to this then it will become e to the power 1 over x is equals to e to the power 2k pi times i as we can see that this base is same then the power is going to equate then 1 over x is equals to 2k pi times i now let's cross multiply we'll get 1 is equals to 2k pi times i times x here we get x is equals to how much 1 over 2k pi times i in the next step we are going to multiply both numerator and denominator by i 1 over 2k pi times i times here i over i we get i over 2k pi times i square and guys we know that here i square is equals to minus 1 so we are going to write here i over 2k pi times minus 1 now we get the value for x is equals to minus i over 2k pi where k is not equals to 0 so guys this is the final answer to our problem thank you for watching this video if you want more videos similar to like this please hit like subscribe and share